now we talk about polarization by reflection so say there is a ray which is incident on a surface it falls on a surface and then it gets reflected now if the falling light is unpolarized the reflected light is partially polarized so this light is partially polarized so you have angle of refraction here and angle of incidence here now if the angle between the reflected ray so this ray is the reflected ray and this is the refracted ray so the angle between these two rays is say 90 degrees then this reflected ray becomes completely polarized so i will recap say unpolarized light falls on the surface and gets reflected when it gets reflected it is partially polarized but if the angle between the reflected ray and the refracted ray that is between this ray and this ray is 90 degrees then the reflected ray is completely polarized so if the angle between refracted and reflected ray is 90 degrees it is completely polarized so the incident angle at which the reflected ray or reflected light is completely polarized it is called polarizing angle so the incident angle so you put this incident angle as theta p so when the light is incident at theta p the angle between the reflected and the refracted ray is 90 degrees so in that case you call theta p as the polarizing angle so again we are just writing down the Snell's law here angle of incidence is theta p angle of refraction is r and n21 is nothing but n2 over n1 n2 is refractive index of material 2 that is glass and n1 is say refractive index of material which is say air if you're going from air to glass so this angle theta p is called brewster's angle and this idea is called brewster's law so why does this happen what happens essentially is that the electric field so electric field of the wave it can be split into two parts one is parallel and the other is perpendicular so the parallel part this reflects more than the perpendicular part so this reflects more so when these two are exactly 90 degrees to each other then this reflected part becomes completely polarized so we are going to represent this by dots like this showing that this part is completely polarized and this part and this part they are still unpolarized so this is still unpolarized and this refracted ray is also unpolarized only this part the reflected part is polarized because the angle between the reflected ray and the refracted ray is 90 degrees